Hello everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial and today we are going to learn how to create this Lego brick effect inside of Houdini. So let's just fire up Houdini. So now here inside of Houdini uh, we'll start with uh, some objects. So let's just start with some test geo. Let's just take a rubber toy. Hit enter. So over here we have our rubber toy. And what we can go do is let's just go dive inside this node and then over here let's just move this rubber toy 0.5 unit up and first thing what you need to do to convert any kind of object into a Lego brick is to convert it into a VDB so to do that let's just type in VDB VDB from polygon so here you can see that uh, our object has been converted into a VDB object next thing what we would need to do is you need to visualize this VDB so to do that just type in VDB visualize tray and then over here uh, here if you convert this leaf node into a solid box so once you have converted the uh, leaf node into a solid box uh, you see there is a couple of cubes uh, representing our VDB so to increase the resolution what you need to do is you need to select the VDB from polygon and increase the voxel resolution so right now our voxel resolution size is 0.1 and uh, we'll convert it into 0 0.01 so this will give us more detail and you can see our it, our toy is represented in a bunch of cubes in the scene view so to replace this with a uh, lego brick uh, what you need to do is you need to create your lego brick or you can import a lego brick so i'll just import it from a file note so in the object view i'll just type in file and then I'll just browse to a directory where I have the Lego cube. So I think this is my Lego brick. So over here I have uh, bought in the model of a Lego cube with which I want to replace all the cubes. So to replace the cube with the Lego brick, what we need to do is we need to first uh, find the centroid of each and every box. So to do that, uh, the easiest way I found is to just add in the assemble shop. So once you add the assemble shop, uh, what you need to do is you need to create it into a packed primitive. So after this, uh, what you can do is you can just drop in the copy node, copy stamp node, and connect it here and here. So if you go to the copy node, you'll see that all of our boxes has been replaced with the Lego cube so right now our Lego cube is quite huge so let's let's just scale it down so to do that just uh, I'll add in the transform node so this Lego cube has been scaled and modeled so that it matches with the VDB size volume size so let's just uh, scale it down to something around 0.01 so you can see that all of our brick has been converted into a Lego cube. So for the sake of uh, interactivity, I'll just uh, decrease the quality of the volume over here. So let's just click the VDB from Polygon. So let's just increase the VDB size. It would be 0 0.05. What I can do is I can just copy this. Copy parameter. And in the transform node, I'll just paste. Um, I'll just do a paste relative reference. So this will interactively adjust the scale of my Lego box with the VDB size. So if I increase it a little bit more, 0.03, so our Lego size also gets scaled automatically. So let's just increase a little bit. So I think we can go with 0.02. So here is our Lego toy. So next thing I want to do is I want to transfer the color from the geometry to my Lego brick so to do that what I need to do first is to bring in the texture for the test geo so right now this test geo is a digital asset and I cannot transfer the color to my uh, Lego brick so to do that I'll just select the test geometry and then right click and then go to type operator and from the extra file you can see there are extra files so this is our diffuse this is our specular and this is the geometry so let's just select the diffuse and then save the file so next thing what we'll do is we'll add in the attribute from map 
and what this does basically is uh, it's uh, it adds a point color from the texture so right now the texture map is UV color rat so I'll just click here my texture would be in the desktop let's just select the toy lores hit accept so now all of my color is coming from a texture so after this what you can do is you can transfer the attribute from the attribute from map to our copied Lego brick so to do that let's just add in attribute transfer so once you do the attribute transfer all the color is being picked up from our attribute map so right now uh, we need to transfer it into a point so let's just turn up primitive let's click over here let's just click into a uh, color after this what you can do is you can just add in attribute promote so the original class would be a point and then we want to promote it into a primitive you can also select you also need to select the original name that would be CD transferred into a primitive mode you can have multiple options to how do you want to transfer this color so there are a couple of ways you can do it so right now the promotion promotion method is average you can select maximum this will give you a little bit different color so or an average mode so there are different ways you can transfer color so you can try it out uh, which gives the best result to you so once you have done, once you have made this setup and you want to run any kind of uh, rigid body simulation or any kind of effects or animation onto this, what you can do is you can run it through a visualize tree, VDB visualize tree. So let's just click here. Let's just uh, do a quick uh, rigid body and I'll show you how you can transfer the animation to the Lego brick. So let's just go to our shelf tab, select the rigid body. Let's just create a glue constraint object select the object hit enter and this will create a a new auto top network so for now I'll just ignore the glue constraint and let's just add in a ground plane as well so let's just hit tab so here's our ground plane let's run the simulation so if you run it through the visualize uh, VDB visualize tree, uh, the simulation will run much faster because it only has to compute just the cube uh, for the collision and the rigid body. So let's just say once this is this runs through. So let's just stop it over here. Uh, let's just go back into our test geometry where we have created our object, and the easiest way to transfer animation from a low res rigid body to a high res rigid body would be to just create an assemble shop so to transfer the uh, rigid body simulation from a low res to a high res uh, you, it needs a name attribute so uh, assemble shop will help you to create that and after this what you can do is you can just add in dop import So click the DOP import and then in the DOP network just click in the auto DOP network. Hit accept. And over here you can see that all of our uh, initial cube had been updated with the Lego brick that we had imported earlier. So there is our Lego brick and if you want to change the attribute color you can do it over here so right now it's in uh, let's just say uh, attribute promote so instead of maximum let's just go with an average if this gives us a, a better result okay so just quick quick recap on this uh, so what you do first is you bring in your object you add in the color from uh, attribute map and you convert it into a VDB po from Polygon and then you create a VDB visualize tree and the most important thing to achieve this effect is is the VDB visualize tree and the assemble shop once you do that it's just a matter of just bringing in your object just uh, uh, making the adjustment to the scale so that it matches with the cube and then just copying it into uh, 
into that points so this is a quick tutorial on how to convert any kind of object into a Lego brick and if you like this tutorial and you want uh, to see more tutorial like this uh, please subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you soon thank you